Hi and welcome back to my channel Sweets and Beyond. Today we're going to be making authentic Puerto Rican mofongo. Mofongo is a traditional dish made in a lot of restaurants in Puerto Rico. It is the easiest thing to make. We start with plantain or platanos, garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, canola oil for frying, and a mortar and a pestle or a pilon. So let's get started. Now we're going to start with the plátano. This is a pla uh, plantain plátano. This is a banana. The difference is this can be eaten raw, this cannot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a plátano and if you see it has seams or sort of ridges if you can see them. So you're going to score it, not going in too deep in those seams. Okay, you scored it already. So now we're going to cut the ends off. And with a small knife, you're going to push the skin off of the actual plantain. Once you, for, once you start peeling it off, you can easily do it with your hands. If you get a little stuck, you just go again with your knife, pull it apart, and it'll go. There is a difference between a plantain and a green banana too because in Puerto Rican cooking we also use green bananas. Green bananas we boil them and they will look just like this but totally green and they wouldn't be soft they will be hard. So we continue to peel our plátano. You just put your knife in here I already did one this is just water and some salt the, the water should taste a little bit salty and we're gonna soak our platanos for 15 minutes before frying them the process is we will cut them up in one inch pieces Okay, here you go. I don't like that. End. We will cut them up in one inch pieces. Here's our platano. So now we're just going to put them in the water with salt. So you do this with, I have four big plantains. So we're going to do this for all four of them. We're going to slice them, open them, cut them in pieces, and we're going to let them soak for 15 minutes in the salt water. And then we will be back and we'll start frying. It has been 15 minutes that the platanos, the plantains, have been soaking in water. I just drained them and I let them dry off a little bit. You don't want water in your hot oil. Now the stove, I have it at a six and a half from low to high is ten. I have it at a six and a half. So we're, now we're going to start placing, oh, canola oil. It should reach halfway to the plantain. It's easier with my hand. The oil is too hot right now because you don't want to brown them. You just want to cook them. So I lowered it to a five. So 
all the plantains are in right now. I had had it originally at seven. I lowered it to a five while I was placing the plantains in. Plantains. I don't know. I say platano. Maybe you can understand better. And now I upped it to a six. So now we're going to fry them for 15 minutes. Seven minutes on each side. See right now they turn. Now you know the time. To accompany this, you can make it can stand alone as a just a um, mofongo, or it could be a side dish. I just made picadillo, which is like a Puerto Rican style chili with no beans and or no spice and white rice. Here is the picadillo that I made. I'll show you next time how to make this. And the white rice, which I have to stir. And it's done. So it has been seven minutes already. And now we're gonna flip them. And if they are not browning, they're we're just cooking them. And the temperature is still at six. And it's okay if some of them I mean they're different sizes, different widths. So it's okay if some of them look a little bit darker but what you do not want is for them to brown this is the same method you would use to cook tostones what you would do is after you cook them like this you flatten them with a tostonera or just you can do it with a little mallet or between something and you can you squish them flatten them and you fry them again and those would be tostones but now we're making mofongo so you just flip them all and we wait seven more minutes so it has been seven minutes it has been seven minutes already and they're ready Now I'm just putting them in a bowl to drain with some paper towels and we're going to get ready to make our mofongo. Now we're going to start assembling our mofongo. Here is the mortar and pestle. This one my friend gave it to me for Christmas. She got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so free plug Bed Bath & Beyond. So we're going to start with extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to pour a little bit in here. One garlic clove with which I had peeled, cut off the end and washed. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. So now we're going to take, oh wait, I forgot, we mash this up, so this way the oil can get the flavor of the salt and the garlic and the pepper. So now we're going to add two, three pieces, this is a really small mortar and pestle. So now we're going to mash it up. Go straight down. And it's very important for you to do it while the planting is hot. See as it goes down, you can add another piece of your planting. 
at this point it's basically done this is mofongo smash garlic with olive oil and salt right now it's vegetarian canola oil no vegetables no no pork but you can add pork crackling to it this is the one I bought says pork cracklings you can add several pieces of it and you mash them in there this is the chicharron that everybody talks about in the mofongo and as you go smashing it you can if you see it a little bit too dry you can add a little bit more olive oil if you like it with more garlic you can add more garlic to it At this point, since I've added a little bit more, sprinkle a little bit of salt in it. And this is basically it, your mofongo. At this point, it's basically done. Most restaurants in Puerto Rico serve it in a pilon like this, and they fill it either with shrimp, lobster, a seafood salad, pork, chicken, and they will put it here on top. You just loosen it. And you just start, keep on building making mofongo. I'm going to make several of them and we'll be right back. I have finished mashing all of the plantains with the garlic, the oil, the pepper, and the chicharron. So now for presentation, you take a bowl, you spray it with nonstick spray first. You mash it into a little and there you have it, mofongo. So the mofongo in Puerto Rico is served with this with chicken broth or with something we call mayo ketchup. It's just mayonnaise and ketchup with a little bit of garlic powder. Some people add um, hot sauce to this too. I mean, I don't measure this. But if you start stirring it, and you see that it's a, a nice pink color, you know you, you have it there. So there you go. You can serve it with this, or today it's going to be a side. So I'm going to add a little piece, a little bit, not that big. To another little bowl and this is something that should be served warm as soon as you make it because the pork crackling the chicharron will get um, will get soggy on you here you have our finished product the mofongo so either you can grab it and you can dip it that's what people normally do. You can dip it in the chicken broth or, like I like to do, I dip it in the mayo ketchup. Buen provecho. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.